Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me this morning on Reagan Says. I'm your host, Reagan Adams with All Things Reagan. And today we have a special guest with us, my baby love, uh, my daughter, Kennedy Adams. And uh, we did a take right before this and she said, Mama, you sound so different. I was like, what do you mean? She said, you sound nice. <laughs> but I'm always nice. I mean, you're nice. It's just like your voice is so... <laughs> it's usually mm -mm. <laughs> well I have to enunciate and make sure the people are able to understand me um, so anyway so welcome this morning today's Reagan says is called what do you see in 2019 Kennedy did you want to welcome the people this morning I didn't let you you know maybe introduce yourself uh, if you wanted to say something to the people hey guys I'm Kennedy Adams I'm in the 5th grade and I, I am 10th but I'm going to leave you with some advice. I know it's not the the one you want to hear, but you got, you got, you know. But just have your money together and stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to change it. I can't change my saying because my mom always told me when I was little, when I wanted something, you got some money. So, if y'all want something, and if you need something, you're going to have to get your money. You can't always ask. That's right. So, how are they going to get their money? You better work and pray to Jesus that you get some. Okay. Work. Yeah. That's true. Well, you got to make sure you put in the work because he can only do so much, you know, if you don't work. You mm -hmm. know. But anyway, so, uh, good morning, everybody. Did you, were you finished? I didn't want to cut you off. I'm finished. Okay. For now. <laughs> So anyway, thank you for joining us, uh, us this morning. Excuse me. Um, so the only thing that I'm going to talk about is like my New Year's resolution, which are really not. It is, but it's not because this is something that um, I try to consciously work on every day. Uh, I actually started working on my 2019 maybe a few months ago uh, with getting my schedule together and things of that nature. So I'm really just going to talk about, you know, what my resolutions are, which are really not resolutions, but things that I'm going to be actively working on throughout the year. Um, and it actually started a little while ago and then let Kennedy, um, talk about, you know, her new year's resolutions and what she wants to work on. But we're also going to talk about what we want to see for ourselves and see a lot of the time, um, you know, we focus on just us when I have a family. And so uh, there's a lot of things that I want to see for her life, but then I also want her to, um, you know, kind of check me, not check me, because, you know, <laughs> play no games, but, you know, put on my mind to how to maybe rear her a little bit better there, because I'm not perfect. You know, there's a lot of things that I need to work on and things that maybe I'm not aware of. <laughs> So I do want her to definitely voice those opinions to me and uh, see if we can kind of come together um, and uh, make sure that I'm doing the best that I can as a parent and um, making sure that she knows that I'm actively listening to her as well, not just a dictatorship. Uh, so anyway, Kennedy, I'm going to let you go first because your list is kind of short. Mine is not. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Kennedy, let uh, the people know what your New Year's resolutions are first. You want to go ahead? One, I would like to get my grades up and get them better than what they were because they were hot mess two times. And turning my work and stuff. Mm -hmm. Two, I'm trying to keep my room clean because I'm a kid still, but that's no excuse that my room is Hot mess because it'd be looking like Hurricane Andrew and Katrina and Bo. Three. Also, not um, not trying to drop food on my clothes because I'm so clumsy. Like mom would be looking like, what's on your shirt? I said I don't know. You say you be dropping stuff. That's what toddlers do. That's but I'm gonna try. I'm trying my best now. Okay. And also, I'm so I'm a wild sleeper and I can't help it. Try to keep my head scarf on. It'd be fun. What the happened to your hair? Oh, my head scarf. That's no excuse. But also, I have some New Year's mother wishes. Is that what that but is? But we have talked about this before. Okay. In the last video. Okay. <laughs> and it's down in her Facebook page, so you can go back and watch it. Because I'm funny. So. Anywho. 
like I, I, I don't, I don't know why you burst into this rage of anger. <laughs> don't let me talk. I'm sorry. I know you're sorry. But also, when we conversate, you mm. interrupt me. I do. I, I have that bad. I, do. I, I do that to other people too. Yeah, it's I not, know. <laughs> it's not just you. But I'm working. You got to give me some time. I've been cutting people off for a long time. See, what had happened was I get excited when I'm trying to get a point out. So instead of losing the point, I interrupt. But I don't mean to do it. So I will actively be working on that, okay? Mm, we talked about this before. I know. See I what know. I mean? You just interrupted me. <laughs> Like, we talked about this in the, what was that, August? You just interrupt me. Like, we had, and it's like, so there's September, no October, November, and December. It's almost January, and we ain't improving. Do you, <laughs> do you know how long I've been interrupting people? Since, probably when you were a baby. So, that is a long time, so it's going to take me a while to get acclimated to change, Okay. So just give me, give me some grace, okay? Give me some grace. Mm -hmm. All right. I bet even when you were a baby, you were interrupting my grandparents. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> you okay? They, they said, did you make a little? And you'd be like, yeah. <laughs> they were trying to check your doctor. <laughs> I'm not for. Stop, because I can't be over here crying. Okay, go You're with silly. you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me get myself together. You are so silly. Okay, so for me, my um my resolutions or or what I've been not. No, not or. Oh, you said or. Well, that's what I meant to say is or. Okay. Or maybe not. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, she threw me off. So my New Year's resolutions. You made me mess up. Oh, gosh. It's to be more organized. So, I've been saying this for a long time. How I work, I do stuff off the fly. So, if I get an idea, I just come up with a date and I just work on it. And I don't look at a calendar most of the time. If I do, I don't check with, like, a calendar calendar that has all of my stuff on there. So, um things start to overlap and that's one of the things I noticed from my 2019 schedule. I just started doing events and I did not uh, plug them in the way I needed to plug them in. So just be more organized in that respect and as well as when I'm work, because I do several events at one time or I have like my candle line or my jewelry or my t-shirts, like everything can kind of overlap. So maybe just take time out of each day to work on one thing uh, and complete the task. Because a lot of the times, my hands are in a lot of things at one time. Um, so just do that. Um, I did lose a little bit of weight, but I need to lose some more. Honey, when the holidays hit, that's all she wrote. Sis was eating. It was good. It was worth it, though. <laughs> no, it wasn't worth it. Because now good. my... My neck is, yes. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, going back to my intermittent fasting, uh, so definitely going to be doing that, but I want to add more exercise and not just for myself, but for both of us, um, just to lead a little bit more, uh, healthy lifestyles. I want more of your smoothies. They were good. Yeah. My, uh, blender thingy broke, so I'm gonna have to get another one uh, because I, I do love smoothies. That's, that's my thing. But, um. Just getting up at that early and trying to, yeah, no, because mm. I don't work from home yet, so yeah, yeah yet yeah. it's coming. <laughs> but just uh, implementing a little bit, well, some exercise because I was walking every day, but the weather was warmer. But since it got colder, that stopped. Um, research on investment properties. So one thing that I mentioned in one of my other videos is I really, really am interested in owning a lot of property. Um, I just kind of drive around, <laughs> drive around in Knoxville and see a lot of different opportunities. And, 
uh, there is power in owning. It just is. Uh, so I'm definitely interested in that. I won't elaborate, but I definitely want to start with the research of owning uh, and talking to uh, people with invest for investment properties. I would yes. like to add something to that. Okay, go ahead. To that. To that. Mm -hmm. No, to that. Don't, don't be on here talking like ghetto Gina. I my name ain't Gina. Ghetto. It's so bad, but go ahead. My sis. name ain't Gina from Martin. Okay. Um, like it's the world is like a monopoly. You want to own everything you can. That was good. I know, right? Because <laughs> Mr. Acop been talking in okay. social about John D. Rockefeller and Andrew Carnegie mm. monopolies. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> so look, um, so with investing properties, definitely want to do that. Um, another thing I want to do is be a little bit more on track with you. What does that mean? So you know, I'm always you always say, "Mama, put the phone down, put yes. the phone down." And sometimes I'm working. I might be on Facebook. I might be checking emails, or somebody has called. So be more present with you and keeping up with you more than what I do. Yeah, like, when we go eat and sometimes, like, when we just went to Crocker Barrel, we were talking and stuff, but you weren't looking me in my oh. eyes. You were like, I was like, I was like, I'm not gonna fuss with her today. <laughs> She's my mom, and she at least conversate with me and not ignore me. Right. I mean, there were sometimes you didn't talk, but I, you, you still responded the second time, so... You working on that, and I, I know you will. Oh, thank you for. I'm trying. It's it's a habit. So what I want to do, this baby steps, okay, baby steps, like baby boy, yes. just <laughs> just put my phone in my purse. We need to go back to. But the sometimes room. it's hard, only because you know Joyce may call. I mean, and my what, job, or she might text me, and so you know. We need to go back to the schedule. I know we need. No, it was that schedule we used to have when it was during the summer, and it you cannot during five o'clock. You cannot have no devices. Okay. Now, if it's only if it's a call like Daddy, Nina, Grandma, Kiana, or Joyce, that is it, or your jo other job, okay. that is it. Cindy, maybe, but I mean, <laughs> could y'all end up having this one hour conversation? And I'm like, why? Okay, but so like, okay, so we can implement that. We don't even have to wait until the first, which is only a couple days. I but, wasn't waiting for you to go to the first anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. So, oh, okay, so we'll implement that back again. So, no phones or devices. Well, you can't have a phone anyway. So, for me, no years. phones after five. Right, mm -hmm. and then once you go to bed, I can get on my phone. Oh, you can be. I go to so I go to bed at eight thirty, and then the other time from nine thirty. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Okay. You need your sleep because you be like, oh, I'm so tired of getting no sleep. Well, the one reason is <laughs> you got your phone. Like you, like it happens too. I know because I'm just like you. If I see your phone, I'll be like, ooh. I might as well be on that then go to sleep. And then when you get up, you just be so tired. Mm -hmm. Like when I was with daddy, when I had my phone charging at Mama K's, I was on it because you didn't take it from me. So you and was I was on it the whole time. And that's why I was you was that up. Daddy. Oh, okay, okay. That's why. We're going to work on that. That's hard because that'd be my time. That just Yeah, that'd be my time when I'm on my phone. I love it. <laughs> We'll figure it out. Okay, so and look at us having these personal conversations <laughs> on here, but that's okay. I'm not ashamed at all. It's all a learning tool. Uh, you should have conversations with your kids. Wait, I this think. is cool? This is period. I said it's cool. Oh, I thought you said no, school, I don't know. Said it's like, cool what? to have conversations with your kids. Um, <laughs> open conversations. Okay. Um, And I also want to do different ways Um, when I discipline you. So in a positive man, more positive and more thinking before I speak. Yeah. Cause I don't always want to fly off the handle. But you know, I get tired of having to we don't talk about yourself yes. over and over. Yes. I saw I just forget and I'm like, 
But well, you remember everything else. I'm sorry. It's the stuff I want to remember. Like, school. <laughs> it's like school. Math. I mean, I'm, I can be good at it sometimes. But I choose rather not to remember. But no, no, no. That's not what I mean now. That's not what I mean. Okay. L listen. Okay. You just. Because you'd be like, well, do you know this and this? At home, I'd rather forget about can't don't be doing this face that's another <laughs> thing i forgot to put down every time i'm trying to talk this is not something you want to i'm like okay okay but as i was like when i get home you be trying what you learned i said i don't i don't want to talk about it i'd rather forget everything that when i get home go to sleep eat probably read a book color i don't know but i don't want to you know, talk about it, okay? I'd rather forget everything. And then when I go back to school, I can do what I'm supposed to do. We'll talk about that offline. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. So, um, you know, I'm not really huggy kissy. Mm -hmm. And you are like your dad. Y'all got to be right here. Because we love you. And I love y'all too. And I try to hug. It's just, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm going to try to do better with the huggies and the. You just, you be so funny. When you, so when other people try to hug you, be like, I'm sorry, I'm sweaty. <laughs> like, gosh. I mean, you don't got to tell people about what's going on. <laughs> and they be like, oh, I just hugged a sweaty person. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do better with the with the hugs and the emotional and I'll make sure she will the the hugs and the emotional part of it okay so um let's see I said that um so what um what is this oh another thing <clears throat> which I meant to mention earlier is not shrinking back uh when people see me sometimes and I've been told this a lot that I have an intimidating <coughs> presence. So maybe if I'm speaking or maybe even if I just walk in a room sometime that I'm very intimidating. And I don't mean to be, um, but I've been told that. But sometimes I don't feel like I need to shrink back to make other people comfortable, if that makes sense. So, what? Because I'm like, at school, I love when people like me. Like, I just can't be a, a lump in the corner. I gotta have people. Like, I'm not a people pleaser, but I like when people laugh my jokes like y'all. Hey. But like I can't I can't help myself when I express when I'm with my friends. Some people join on to my conversation. They be like, <laughs> it's so fun. And that's how I get my friends. Like I can't help I'm kind of a people pleaser. Well, and that's another thing. You don't need to. Well, we've talked about this. Yeah. That was on the flip side. We'll we'll get to that in a minute. Ooh, you just hold tight. Of course, you did something about me. Oh, but yeah, but just <laughs> not shrink back for people because some people get intimidated and you know they shouldn't. And um, just for me not to shrink back to make other people feel good. If my presence is felt when I come in the door, that's just what it is. Um, and I'm, I'm, hum I'm very humble. I'm not, um, conceited or anything. I don't think I am, but I do. Um, did you say something? <laughs> oh, okay. I was just like, but I do have a strong presence, but I'm very humble at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, um, but just learn not to shrink back, uh, for people. So what I want for you, uh -uh. <laughs> I want you to feed your creativity. And so what I mean for that is. Um, you are like extremely smart. I am. You really are. Uh, you. Like naturally smart and things that you like and know and learn um, and really care about. Um, I just think you and I'm going to help feed you with that i mean so like with the library uh -huh. you like to read I yeah, with the, right but like the library you like to read um with the sewing you like to sew which we've talked to um, i like to do crafts like every time like i'm on youtube or something i either watch the swine videos or fun and craft or some music video right so i i, I want to do better with feeding that but it's sometimes not as hard but it can be hard only because I have a lot to balance 
you know the situation. So it's a lot to balance to make sure I'm maintaining the house, but then making sure that you're okay too. And, you know, learning what you need to learn. Uh, but I want you to really just, it's okay for you to be smart. You know, I mean, I know you're funny. You got, you know, ha ha, you got all that. You're a very witty person. But you being smart is going to take you a lot of places too. So you can be both. And I want you not to be afraid of that. Okay. Um, I'm just like, I don't know what's happened to society with this math. I'm like, did yeah, they learn about that yeah. back then? I mean, yeah, no, it's different. It's different. But the good thing about it is um, you, you're going to need it because you keep talking about money. I love it. Listen, money. you love money, but you're going to have to learn that math. And you, there's no like, escaping it. There's like, like we every time you go to school, I don't really get, get divided, but dividing decimals is just moving the <laughs> decimal back, mm -hmm. back, back. But like regular dividing, I'm like, Cause you better do all this. Like, yeah, gosh, it's extra. It's different. Weird. I don't know who. Yeah, I don't know. But you know what? The thing is, where you're smart, you're gonna get it. And you going The thing is, you're gonna have to get it. You want this money? I want my cosmetology trait. Well, and you still gonna have to. You can't get away from numbers. It's it's going to be. It's <sighs> like this numbers right there. Right, but you can't get away from it. So anyway, I just want you to um, make sure that. Um, that that you just stay true to who you are, don't, and you don't shrink back for anybody either. You I'm know, be you, be right? I know black you're proud to be black. black. Yes, black girls, right? And that's good. And that's another thing that I want to. Well, I'm glad that you got into the girl talk because they are predominantly black, and you'll see uh, your mentor. You know, they've gone to college. You know, they're doing different things, and you'll be able to. You know, have somebody to talk to for the things that you don't want to talk to me about. I mean, I want to talk to you about some stuff, but I just feel like you won't like how other stuff feel and stuff. I'm like, well, I want to talk to her about this, but I don't feel like I can. You can talk to me about anything. Because let me tell you something. Whatever you have done, I've done it times 30. Yep, I listen, especially them. So, honey, I, but you know what? I want you to talk to me because I'm going to tell you, I couldn't talk to Nina. I couldn't talk. I can't, still can't talk to Daddy, and I don't <laughs> want to. No, see, some stuff, see, some stuff, well, I'm gonna yeah. have, I'm you gonna can have talk to, to Daddy, know. but some stuff, you're going to want to talk to me because your Daddy ain't going to want to hear about no boys. Listen. Yeah, he going to be like, what I tell you? Yeah, and see, at this age, you don't even need to be worrying about them suckers anyway. What I tell you about them boys, get your grades and get your money up. I know. You don't need to be worrying but about no boys. But it's just like, when I, like, at the grocery store, it happened yesterday. <laughs> you know those people who were walking by? I, don't judge me, y'all. Don't. But I just forget them on my mind and focus on my work. So really, ain't Yeah, like uh-uh. Listen, honey, you too young for that. We'll have another conversation about this later. Anyway. Oh, here we go. Um, let's see. Oh, I another thing. Like when I'm cooking. Because I, I know you cook, love to cook. Bake. Yeah, I know you. So just feeding that more. Because at the end of the day, I want you to be self-sufficient. I just like on YouTube. So, you know what I mean? That is that food video mm -hmm. where they bake stuff, make drinks and stuff. And I'm like. Well, I could do that at home, and I could sell them, too. Yeah. I, we're going to work on it. Yeah, That's just not my thing. But I'm just, if I can't do it, or it's not my thing, I need to put you with somebody who likes to do that. I'm but, Cindy. Right. So, we're already in talks with that. So, you can have your crafts with her, and that's why she's your godmother. So, the things that I don't do, I'm going to find somebody that can do those for you. Um, but at the end of the day, what I want for you is to be self-sufficient. Like when we went to Cracker Barrel today, like I wanted you to go in and, and put our name on the list. I was just like, cause usually it's like, I think they're going to ask for your age. I'm like, I'm mm -mm. 18. I don't know. No, and but you like, know, I, I make, you know, I, we, you've been out to eat with us. How many times, you know, all we do is Adams two, three, four, whatever. So, yeah, that's all you yeah, had to I do. Yeah, I was like, I was so nervous. I was itching and sweat. I was like, yeah. they said, how, uh, how, how much for your party is it? 
to. He said, like, what's your name? Adam? I'm like, he right. said, 20 minute wait. Like, okay. And see, once you did it, it was nothing, right? Yeah. Right. So what I need you to understand is I'm not going to always be here. Right. I want you to be I here know. I'm not. But I want you to be able to be self-sufficient. You know, your hygiene, making sure you're on top of that, making sure your hair is always done, making sure well, you got... I already know that. Making I, sure you got your grades together, making sure you can take care of yourself financially without any help. Because when those boys do come... I don't want to make... rely on them. Like Absolutely I not. just said I want... Because I like being famous and stuff, and I want people to know my name because, you know, like... <laughs> y'all want to know my name, and I know y'all want to. Like... I just want, I already, cause I see Cardi B and stuff and I see how she has like modern mansions, like cars. I'm like, yeah, Whoa, I'm but, that. but what did I tell you if about you, having the modern mansions? You have to do what? Monday. But you have to do what? Work. To get money. So you have to be able to be self-sufficient to take care of yourself and get this money. And you don't need a man to necessarily do that. Like when I met your daddy, I told you I had my own, your daddy had his mm -hmm. own stuff. I had my own stuff. Goody. So when you meet your fella, what do you need to have? Money. Yeah, and your what together? Finances. Your finances and your stuff in order. And then when you meet somebody, you don't want anybody that has any less than you, correct? Mm. And yeah. I don't want. Like somebody you gotta you, take like, care of. Yeah, and you like, cause you said that before. Like you, we saw like a man and woman walking instead of driving and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not walking everywhere. Like if it's a mall, yes, we can walk to the park. I don't know, but we ain't walking twenty four seven. If you don't have a car now, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, like who wants to walk twenty four hours a day? Not with a man. You can get a car. And not when you got a man. That's what I'm saying. Y'all can't be outside in the street. And y'all over here like, yeah, no. That no romance. There's a saying which I know you probably have never heard. Probably William Shakespeare. No, it's not. Romance without finance <clears throat> is a nuisance. <throat> which means you, for me, you shouldn't even be romantic with anybody. Well, for one, he needs to be your husband. That's number one. And he has to believe in God. Exactly. Be saved. Um, but if he doesn't have the requirements necessary financially to be able to take care of himself, he can't take care of you. I know he can't take care of me. So you got to make sure that y'all both got y'all stuff together. Correct. All right. But essentially, I just want you to be able to take care of yourself. And I know you and daddy ain't gonna spot me for money. You got that right. Or grandma. Man, listen. Y'all be putting money for me. And then when I think about it. Oh, wait, they ain't going to be giving me money in the future. They're going to be in heaven, probably. So you need to be able to take care of yourself. So that's what, when I make you do certain things, go into the store, you got your checking account. You, like, you, you, when we go for gas, you said, go put this on whatever. Right, so you know how to do it. I don't want you oblivious to the stuff that's going on in the world. I just don't. I don't Even at 10, I know it's like, I'm too young for this. No, you're but not. like since my height, people would think I'm older. Right, but not even your height, your mind. You are very intelligent. You're beyond your time. Oh, I love. This is why I'm affectionate to her. We love her. Anyway, but you're beyond your time. So I just want to make sure that I feed, um, feed you mentally and feed the things that you like uh, to do. Uh, interior design. I yeah. Well, that. I know you like to deal with your hands. Like you are very crafty. You like designing. I like working on the computer, like doing my hands. Like, like Miss Forsaw, I she's my favorite. Like she getting us young stuff to do computers and stuff. That's like really good and stuff. We use a Microsoft Excel and stuff, and that's really good that we can use it. Right, but I like your school system anyway. Okay, this video is dragging. We got to get off of here. Um, no, it's not. Mm -mm, that's not you. Um, I want you to do more things without me asking, which we talked about that. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do not worry about what others say about you. This is a biggie. Mm. Listen, I mean, oops, hard. Well, yeah, it is. But sometimes people 
They can't help themselves. They can't, but sometimes people get jealous. You oh, know, I know a few people who just and they know who they is. They is mom, that they are. Sorry, because I know your mama's watching. And I know well, you wait know. a minute. This is not the video for that. Though. I know, but just so they know. But I'm not gonna say any names. This one here is swear <laughs> she's from somebody's project, and I don't know. Well, there's daddy, so like it's in our genes. You could thank Mr. Acock for the inherited trait test. Anyway, talk about what I was saying is, um, you're going to go through that through life, like I go through that now. Yeah, no, I heard uh, you on the phone. Yeah, like, people are not going to like you. That is life. I'm telling you, as long as you are secure with yourself, like, you're beautiful. I am. You, and look who you came from, duh. You know, Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. But I know where you came from. You are made up from two great people. So you have a great personality. <clears throat> But also, you're beautiful. So you don't need anybody to validate you. First of all, God validated you because he said you were fearfully and wonderfully made. So Thank that's number Lord. one. So outside of him, I'm telling you, you bad. And I know I'm bad. So. Okay, so as long as you keep that, it doesn't matter what anybody says about you. Because they can be speaking out of jealousy. You know what I'm saying? They can be like, oh, she thinks she's solid. Do you know how many times... And I still hear it. Reagan thinks she's all that. And I have may have not even said a word to anybody. I all I have to do is sometimes walk in a room. Oh, she thinks she's this. She thinks she's that. Yeah, no. you, you know how I was talking to you at, after school, how fifth grade is so much drama and how that girl keeps on bothering my friend. Like, and even if you talk to her, she's going to say something smart. But we don't even talk to her. Mm -hmm. I mean, she'll sometimes come and talk to us, mm -hmm. but we don't talk to her. Mm -hmm. What's the point of talking to you when you're mean? Yeah, you have to stay away from people like that, honey. And it, it doesn't twice. get any better. It, I mean, you think it's just fifth grade, honey, drama go, but you need to oh, stay away. I know where drama goes, them adults. But I'm not, I'm not bad. I'm actually a very nice person. Just stay drama free. Just stay out from the gossip. People want to bring you gossip. People want to bring you drama. You ain't got time. You need help with your math. That's what you need to say. Are you here to help me with my math? Well, then we don't have nothing to talk about, right? Yeah, but so God. The, right. And that's that was my last thing. I always keep God first, um, even over me and your dad. When you cannot talk to me, when you have nobody to talk to. And I'm, if you ever feel like you have nobody to talk to, you can always talk to God. And when I say God, I mean Jesus is his son. The Trinity. That's right. So I want you to always remember to keep him first. Keep him first over everybody. Me, your dad, Nina, anybody. He is number one. He should always be number one in your life. Because he's one person who will never let you down. If I ever let you down, if your dad ever lets you down, anybody, he's the only person who's perfect. The only, but we still love you though. We love you unconditionally. Love you but anyway, so those are our resolutions. We did not mean to be on this video this well, time. I did. I'm sorry, Mama. I like I like making the people laugh. They when they feel down, they watch this video. They just oh, she's very funny and pretty. I know what y'all say. I see what y'all say in the comments because she tells me. But anywho, carry on. Anyway, guys, you know, thank you for joining me um, for 2018. Tomorrow is a new day. Yay. The first of the year, 2019. I'm excited about it. I'm excited for my family, uh, the doors that God is opening for us. And um, I thank God for you. I thank God for you. Um, and I thank God for y'all for watching me because some, you know, I have faithful watchers, which is crazy to me. Right. And I know there's, it's only going to go up from here. And so I just appreciate your time. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate anybody who supported me with their money. You have helped keep my lights on. Literally, you have no idea. Uh, so we definitely appreciate that. Uh, and I just ask that God bless everybody who was watching this, uh, a hundredfold, um, Hopefully y'all know who God is. What? Nothing. You didn't know who Jesus yes, is. They do need to know who Jesus is. That's number one. Um, Because, listen, without him. You will be nothing. 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 Absolutely nothing. So 
So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Please check out allthingsreagan.com. Reagan is R-E-G-A-N. Kennedy will have some things coming down the pipe, but we are not releasing that yet. Oh, man. I, what you about to say? Because we can't talk about... Business not... No, we're not talking about anything specific. Follow me on Miss Kennedy's Creations on Instagram. Thank you very much. We're getting ready to change that, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's for girls who dream. Uh, so, anyway... We have some things coming down the pike for her, uh, just baby steps, because I had a dream, God said, to kind of slow her down some because she wasn't ready. I'm a dreamer. Yeah, so uh, anyway, guys, thank you again for joining us. Uh, 2019, I just, I speak all kind of blessings in your life. Uh, from our house to yours, allthingsreagan.com. We'll see you later. Bye.